Kate Middleton to tell her side of the story and tell all interview. 2020 began with the bombshell that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry would step back from royal duties. The ensuing Megxa has been tabloid catnip ever since and has spawned too many stories to count. One tabloid now reports that Kate Middleton is sick of biting her tongue and she could be doing a sit-down interview to tell her side of the story. Is the dirty laundry about to be aired? Kate Middleton finally fights back. The cover story of this week's National Enquirer says Middleton sets the record straight on what really happened with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The article says Middleton is tired of all the rumors, lies and backbiting. She needs to end this unprecedented crisis that's endangering the monarchy's survival as a way of fighting back against unflattering claims made about her and finding freedom middleton is considering an official sit-down tv interview about what really happened between prince william and prince harry middleton has grown weary of maintaining her perfect public composure in the face of markle kate's tired of her sister-in-law painting her as the bad guy a source tells the tabloid despite her public composure Kate seething that the Sussexes are living celebrity lives in a $14 million Santa Barbara mansion without giving a damn about anyone else. The article concludes by saying Middleton knows they all have to resolve this crisis for the sake of the monarchy. There is no tell-all. Tabloid tell-alls are an easy story for tabloids to print. It frees the magazine to speculate on what might be said, or what stars could be thinking. In reality. An actual TV interview presents immediate logistical issues, none of which are addressed in this story. What station is the interview with? Would it be in person or via Zoom? Who would conduct the interview? All of these are legitimate questions that would be answered if this interview were actually happening. This story has been done to death. Just about every major tabloid has claimed Middleton was or is planning a tell-all interview. OK, said she and Prince William would do an interview together. While in touch said she would go with Solo and discuss Baby No. 4. Life and Style ran an almost identical story about Middleton sharing her side of the story, while New Idea was the most egregious for promising an exclusive interview with the Duchess, only to deliver an interview about the Duchess. Despite tabloids claiming month after month that an exclusive interview will happen. Middleton has still yet to actually do any salacious tell-all interviews. We are busting this story because it's been done so many times, living it up in Hollywood. We also want to point out the bit about how the Sussexes are living celebrity lives. We're in the middle of a pandemic, so they're pretty much staying at home. The only appearances they make nowadays are to promote charities, so clearly they actually do care about other people. Plus, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge live in Kensington Palace a far more historic and expensive mansion than Markle's California residence. What an all-around dumb anecdote. Other bogus royal tales from this tabloid. The only evidence in this story comes from the so-called royal sources, but these sources have been responsible for loads of other bogus royal stories. This same tabloid claimed Prince Harry had secretly filmed his family for use in a tell-all documentary. It's pretty much impossible to film a documentary and the Sussexes have made it clear that they will not allow any cameras into their home. This tabloid also claimed that the Queen's marriage with Prince Philip was collapsing and that the Queen was actually dying. Since the two are still together, and the Queen is still very much above ground, it's safe to say those stories were wrong. The royal sources of the Enquirer are not to be trusted, therefore we are striking down this Middleton tell-all story.